Hello and welcome to Youngstown Playlist, a show dedicated to highlighting local musicians right here in Youngstown, Ohio. We're getting loud and rocking out today with the dynamic duo known as Night Fighters. Check them out. How'd you guys form, get together, and all that fun stuff? Well, we're old friends. We used to be in bands together in high school. And uh, I don't know, a couple years ago I moved away and then I moved back. And then just kind of looking for people to play with. And we knew each other. We were already in a band. 
And yeah, we had that. Uh, we had like a good dynamic. Like we've been playing together for over a decade. Yeah, yeah, we yeah like it was back in the you know back in the high school days. So we we already had that. We developed a lot of stuff together. You know, musicianship wise, just what we like to do, how we do stuff. So it's easy. Just the whole two piece thing too. We just we were like, yeah, me and you, we can just do it. It'll be easy. So that's kind of how Which it very it much is. Yeah. <laughs> As compared to like pretty much uh, every band around here is is one of these uh, three, four, five member. Yeah, like the formal setup. Yeah, yeah. Like, there are very few. There, there are a couple of two piece bands. Real, real big fan of the whole two piece aesthetic. By the way. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, like it just, I feel that anyone who I've talked to about uh, that kind of scenario, like when you're in a larger band, uh, they find that it's it's like a whole hassle trying to find time to practice where everybody you know especially like uh when you're getting a little bit older like when you're younger and you don't have shit to do then sure you know that's one thing but like when you're when you're getting like towards your 30s it's like you know and now you have a job or a family you have uh kids or whatnot so it's it's a series of situations that we've kind of avoided yes uh, <laughs> What comes to mind when you think of, you know, a standard two-piece act anymore? Ooh. <laughs> I think it's just like more bare bones. Like, it's yeah. like you're doing it, you got two people, and then with us, we hear, you know, from time to time, it's like, wow, you guys don't, you're only two people, wow. But like, you know, Black Keys and uh, the White Stripes, yeah. it's just like they're doing it, so it's kind of got that rock edge to Absolutely. it you know like it's not overproduced it's not overdone it's bare bones and it's just gonna hit you pretty hard you know? it's definitely something that's uh, very raw and uh, we I think that what we do is very straightforward you know what we sound like on our album is generally what we sound like uh, live and we generally don't uh, defer too much from like show to show uh, with quality, I'd like to say. Yeah, I mean, I think I think that we're pretty consistent. Yeah, maybe that's, that's exactly me what tooting my own horn. But <laughs> <laughs> that's a big thing too, and I really do like the raw aspect. There's, you know, this is what we are. This is what we do, and you know, sometimes you do go to a show where it's like this sounds absolutely nothing like the album version, and but not in the good way. Yeah. So I think, like you said, the consistency just makes it so much yeah. more appealing. It's a real trick that I think a lot of bands in the area have figured out how to deliver a good live tone. And I think it's all about the tone. Um, if you, I mean, there's a thousand things you can do in the studio and you can make yourself sound sure. like just super professional and whatnot. Uh, but I think that if you can't deliver it live, then you're gonna have an issue. Yeah, and, yeah definitely. Yeah. Why do you think that this type of sound has been so persistent in Youngstown over the last couple of years? Me personally, I think it's just a hard edge sort of town. I mean, you know, the history of the town, what it is, basically, it's a working class town and it's not very, uh, so the musical style is not very intellectual, sort of like very metropolitan or whatever. It's like, you know, when you hear a band like us or like a heavier band, um, analog phase or album bands like that you know it just reflects sort of that dingy bar rock aesthetic um, I don't know that I think that it's part of the it's just part of what the place is it's the rust belt right you know so it's very working class uh, not too fancy you don't want to get too fancy in that scene because it just seems inauthentic I guess yeah, to totally people cool. it, it seems inauthentic you know so that's my view of it. We're the most authentic and the most humble. <laughs> <laughs> That's our show. I want to thank Knife Fighters for talking to us and playing for us. As always, I want to thank Susie's Dogs and Drafts downtown location for letting us shoot there. And thank you for watching. Help us continue to support local music by liking our Facebook page and subscribing to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Talk about, I guess, your image. Like, what are you trying to convey at, like, is there anything? Look at us. <laughs> yeah. Polar opposites, uh, yeah, image-wise. <laughs> image-wise, yeah. Like, we think about our images separately. Yeah. But not together. Not together. 
So. And that's your image. That's our, yeah. Yeah, look at these two guys, yeah. man. They're a very unlikely. The couple. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> very highly unlikely they'll do anything good on this stage. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap, they're loud. Jeez. That's, yeah, that's all they say. They're not good, they're loud. They're loud. <laughs> you guys were the loudest, oh, the loudest band I ever saw. Thank you, how'd you like the songs? Oh, so loud.